Hi guys, Kings of ME here uh, with another video. This one's going to be about the uh, plugin permissions for the Craft Bucket server. So um, I know some people for some reason have been having some trouble um, with permissions. It's a pretty, it's a very easy plugin, but if you don't understand what you're doing, you won't get it right. So um, I thought I'd do a quick video on just basically how to work uh, permissions. So um, first thing, you need to take the jar of uh, permissions, which is right here and you need to put that into your plugins folder and then um, either it comes with the folder or will automatically download the folder uh, for a permissions folder then what you want to do is you're going to want to open the folder up and this is the newest version of permissions this is 2.1 and I'm running on craft bucket version 439 so on this one you name your uh, your permissions folder what your world name is so as you can see my world name is where is it here? World. So I named it World. So there's World. And then you open this up. Make sure you open it with text edit or a notepad if you're on a Windows or I'm not sure what they use on Linux or anything else. But um, you're going to open that up. And then all this stuff, don't touch this. This has nothing to do with anything right there. Um, anything with the, uh, the little number key here means it's not actually red. So no nothing's going to happen if you put anything here. And you keep going down, and here's where you want to start. It's right here. And then, all right, so what this is saying is it's saying, okay, all the groups are here. So if you want to add more groups, you'd add them uh, below this, like moderators here, admins here. You could add more groups if you want. Just make sure it lines up exactly with the spacing here, like right along that line, right there. And then uh, you could add more groups. Just make sure you do exactly what this has all the way up to here. You know, you can change things like that. So basically, this is saying the group name is default. And then, uh, is this the default group? If this, if this is saying if somebody random joins your server that you don't know or haven't added their names down here, then um, this is saying they'll be put in this group. That's true. Only one of these can be true, okay? You can't put more than one true. That's why the rest of these are false. All right, and then this is... Uh, Info, alright, so this is about the group. Prefix and suffix, if you have the plugin iChat, then um, you can put prefix and suffixes in, as I show you here. That's uh, prefix and suffix, it makes your names different colors when it appears, when you talk. And then this is if they can build or not, right there. And then um, inheritance, so say I wanted um, all these nodes right here to be inherited to a different group let's say moderator I put inheritance I put the default group I want it to inherit all these from the default group right there alright so now and then you have inheritance and then these are the permissions alright so this is what um people are gonna be allowed or disallowed to do alright these are all what they're allowed to do there's no disallowed actually um, you, you're allowing people to do these things when you put it into permissions so, um, this is saying, right, let's just say here, this is allowing, um, just a default group member to type in slash AFK, and it'll change their status to AFK. This is all the things they can do here. All these things. Alright, so, basically, you're seeing some stars in here, and I'll tell you what that means. Alright, so as you can see, I have many essential, because that's a big plugin. And I didn't want um, them to have it all. I didn't want them to have all the essentials. Uh, be able to use all the commands. Because some of the commands, um, you know, I only want admins to have. But if I did want them all to have, if I wanted everybody in my server to have all essential commands, I would simply, instead of writing all these out, I would have just put something like this. This. Just like that. And that says, that star means it has every single one of these uh, commands that could have been after this period, after essentials here. They have access to every single one of those commands. So I, would, I could delete all those commands now and just leave that one star there. And that would mean they have access to all of those. Alright? Alright, so, and then, so for, see, for spawn mob, I gave them all the commands for spawn mob I'm allowing them to use here. Alright, so let's say that's multi-house. I'm allowing them to use all commands for multi-house. Alright, and many of these you do, okay? 
just like that. Alright, so that's basically nodes, and I'll tell you where you actually find these nodes later. And the way you actually put these nodes in is, um, what you're going to want to do is, I believe, it's something, let's count up these spaces here. You have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve spaces, and then you put a dash in, and then you put another space, and then you have to put these in little, like, um, little, like, quotation marks here but it's only the single quotation mark. And then you write the essentials or whatever it is in your plugin. You put a dot and then you put what's after it for the command. Or you can put a star if you want them to have all the commands. And then you have to put a quotation after it. Alright? So that's how the nodes work. Alright. So then here's more groups. And this groups has, uh, they inherit all these commands. And they have these commands here too. And then here's the admins group, all right? And then it's saying not the default. Um, they inherit from the moderator, and the moderator inherits in the default. So basically, the admins are getting all the default commands, all the moderator commands, and all these commands. And I'll tell you what this means. This right here means they have access to every single command right there. That means any command in the entire server they could access as long as it um, was permission supported. That's what admin mean. That's usually what admins have is the biggest the star because they can access all of them. Um, this remember this the, the uh, numbers they can't doesn't mean anything. It's just telling you. Uh, these come standard right here. Those two. All right. That those are just ones they put in uh, to show you what to do. Um, but if you want to add more people to here, like here's my name. You do I believe. You have one, two, three, four spaces, and make sure no no tabs, absolutely no tabs, only spaces, and then I would type the the name. You know, um, it has to have the capitals that has in it too, and then I put the dot dot. Then I um, type in group dot dot space admins, and it has to have that capital A because here there's a capital A, as you can see. So as you can see, we have groups admins info. And this is for iChat only. You would put in um, the prefix and the suffix there if you wanted the names to be different colors. So, oops. And then this is what permissions I have. I'm in group admins, but if you didn't want me to have all the permissions, you would have to write in all the permissions you did want me to have right there. So, but as you can see here, I have all permissions. This is another one of my server admins. He has all permissions there. And he's in the group admins, and same with these three here. All right, so basically that's how you work permissions, and uh, that's only permissions only plugin. And you have to find um, what the permissions node are. You're gonna have to go on the uh, the bucket forms. Let's go on the plug temporary plugin list here, and let's just say we're looking for essentials. So uh, I see essentials right here, so I'll click on that. And then normally the uh, the uh, permission nodes will be in here somewhere, somewhere in here the permission nodes will be uh, said. But instead here they have a wiki, so we'll just go to their wiki. And then here they have the command guide. And then as you can see here, all the permissions are uh, told here. So, say if they wanted to be able to, if you wanted to allow them to type in slash depth, you would have to put that in the permissions node. All those you have to type in. It's kind of time consuming, but unless you want them to have all these, including the administrative ones, you, uh, you're you going to want to type all these out. So, alright, that's basically a um, just an overview of permissions. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below. I'll try to put the web any websites I used on here in the uh, description. So um, rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.